Welcome back to This Day in Scottish History. I'm your host, Colin MacDonald. Today, we turn our attention to a groundbreaking scientific achievement that changed the course of warfare forever. On February 26, 1935, Scottish physicist and engineer Robert Watson Watt successfully demonstrated the use of radar technology in what became known as the Daventry Experiment. This pivotal moment not only showcased the potential of radio waves in detecting aircraft, but also set the stage for the development of one of the most crucial military technologies of the 20th century. And if you're curious about other fascinating events that happened on this day in history, be sure to check out my blog at bagtownclans.com slash this day. The link will be in the description. Robert Watson Watt was born in Brecon, Scotland in 1892. A brilliant mind with a passion for physics and engineering, he dedicated his career to the study of radio waves. By the early 1930s, he was working for the British government on a project related to detecting thunderstorms using radio signals. However, as tensions in Europe escalated, military officials began exploring the idea of using similar technology to detect enemy aircraft, a concept that would later evolve in radar. The breakthrough moment came in early 1935 when Watson Watt and his assistant Arnold Wilkins conducted an experiment near the town of Daventry, England. Their goal was to prove that radio waves could detect the presence of an aircraft at a distance. To do this, they set up a radio transmitter and receiver using the BBC's shortwave radio station as the source of signals. A Handley Page Hayford bomber was flown through the test area, and as it passed through the radio waves, its presence was detected by the receiver. The experiment was a success, proof that aircraft could be located using radio signals. This demonstration had enormous implications. At the time, the British government was looking for ways to defend the country against the growing threat of aerial bombardment from Nazi Germany. The success of Watson Watt's radar test convinced military leaders to invest in the technology, leading to the rapid development of radar stations across Britain. By the time World War II broke out in 1939, a network of radar stations known as Chain Home had been established along the coast, providing early warnings of incoming enemy aircraft. The impact of radar on the war effort cannot be overstated. During the Battle of Britain in 1940, radar played a decisive role in helping the Royal Air Force RAF, track and intercept German bombers. It allowed British pilots to be directed precisely where they were needed, conserving fuel and maximising effectiveness. Without radar, the outcome of the battle, and perhaps even the war, could have been very different. Watson Watt's contributions to military science earned him widespread recognition. In 1942, he was knighted for his work, and later in life, he received numerous accolades for his pioneering role in the development of radar. Yet, despite his success, he remained humble, once remarking that his invention was meant for defence rather than destruction. Beyond its military applications, radar technology has transformed many aspects of modern life. Today, it is used in air traffic control weather forecasting, navigation, and even speed enforcement on highways. Watson Watt's work laid the foundation for an entire field of technology that continues to evolve and shape the world. As we look back on this day in 1935, we recognise not only a remarkable Scottish inventor, 
but also a moment in history that forever changed the way nations defend themselves. Robert Watson Watts' legacy is one of innovation, foresight and a deep understanding of how science can be used to protect lives. Thank you for joining me today on this day in Scottish history. I hope you've enjoyed this tale of scientific discovery and its profound impact on the world. Don't forget to check out my blog for more historical events at bagtownclans.com slash this day. Tune in tomorrow for another journey through Scotland's remarkable past. I'm Colin MacDonald, haste you back. <laughs>